Greetings, everyone, with Ray Ferraro downstairs and Eddie Olchek upstairs. I'm Mike Emery. Tonight's matchup will be two teams trying to execute a game plan. Down the many steps we go to the ice level. Here's Ray Ferraro. Game sevens are the best. You are so focused in. It's like the rest of the world just melts away as the next 60 minutes contain everything that you hope and dream about. All good to get this game started. Let's go. We'll hear from Ray Ferraro shortly. Eddie Olchek alongside me, Mike Emery. This playoff game is underway. Shot. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. He just fanned on it. Has it back deep. Ah, oh, that's a good quick poke check there. Halifax in possession, moving it up the wing. Play stopped. It's Ray Ferraro time. What a great back and forth series. It's been so evenly played. The one and out is the most urgent of all games. Many thanks, Ray. Gains the zone. Big drive. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Winnipeg's controlling play now through the neutral zone. An enormous hit. He's certainly on a mission out there. He's trying to set a tone for his team in what should be a really physical contest. Fires! He scores! Nice beginning if you're the home squad. Up 1-0. The Paladins now have a one-goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Pass, but effective. He's got it. Takes that pass from the other point man. A shot off his head. Looks ahead to start something. That was a big hit. Solid hit directly right through the puck carrier. Excellent open ice hit. That shot came from right in front. That great save was all positioning. Just didn't work. Pitch straight ahead through center. Let's it go. Use that big goalie stick well. Loose pocket went off somewhere. On the outside, a shot. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Tremendous hit. One on one. Shoots. Crash. Play stopped. That puck is just held. A good tie up on the face off. That led to his team getting the puck. Goes back deep for it. And the play is stopped on an icing call. A little under nine minutes to go in period one. The Paladins lead 1-0. Halifax has prevailed on another faceoff. Halifax gates upwards along the side. Let's a shot go. And off target with that one. I like the puck move, but the goalie can't keep up. But the one-timer goes over top of the net. Grabs that pass. Halifax has forced another turnover in this very close game. Shoots it off. Save there. Carried right through the 50-yard line. Got that pass in his own end. Outstanding body contact. Ellers got crushed there. He had his head down, and they had his target out. They've really laid the wood to him. Outlet it to Everly. My, what a hit. Oh, that's a spectacular hit. You're going to see that on all of the highlight shows later on. And the pickup. Stood him right up. Good defensive play, hand to eye and center ice. Couldn't get through and retain possession. Can start the attack going in the zone. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. He zips that inches wide of the post. 
the goaltender would have no chance on that. Gathered up again by Pitkin. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. Crashed into him in open ice. Scooped up by Pitkinen. Big hits in open ice. The clock has bled down to the last minute. Passing one off now to Connor. Leads that charge into the zone. What a heavy hit. Steps in from the neutral zone. Here's a one-timer. Got a piece of that one. Hey, fans, don't forget our 50-50 draws coming up in the middle. Period two has begun. Ray Ferraro is closest to the action. Eddie Olchek is alongside Mike Emmerich. Yours truly upstairs. Muscled long to Fowler. Turned a shot on net. Wonderful stop. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Read that play in his own end. Terrific determination by Fowler. Terrific opportunity, but a missed pass. And so they have to drop back. It's dumped in. Now it's directed to Lorensky. Halifax carrying on up the wing. Let's it go. Swept aside. Trying for it. Score! <laughs> Paladins have now enlarged their lead to two to nothing. At the rate they're going in this game, they might make it three fast. Winnipeg's got another face-off win. Picks it up in his own end. A shot! Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Halifax has not given up much defensively at all. Their goaltender could play in a bathing suit and not get hurt down there. The arm is up of the referee. There will be a penalty coming up, but the whistle hasn't blown yet. Halifax, a minor for Bordy. The Jets go on the power play for the first time. Well, you get your power play on the ice for the first time. You can really generate some momentum, whether you score or not. Have a positive power play. Score! A terrific short-handed goal. He looked like he was sniffing around for a break. Maybe he could get one shorthanded. He gets a chance, and he capitalizes. The Paladins lead in puck possession, and they've dominated. And they've got a 3-0 lead to show for it. The Jets control from the neutral zone. Things are heating up with that hit. Well, oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Just under six minutes play. Paladins just keep building on their lead. They're up now by three. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. That one's out of play into the bench area. The Paladins are pretty fortunate to have a player like this in their lineup. He can score from the wing, he can score from the middle, he gets right to the front of the net as well. Teams try to lock him up, but he always seems to find some space. Fires, outstanding save. Oh, they had a great chance. Oh, they got it out. They check the clock and prepare to defend some more. Let's a shot fly. Glove save. Nice. Oh, that's a good keep. That's a great keep at the line. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. To Stanley. Trying to go to line A. Crosses that line. 
and angled to Scandella. Say. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Clean win on the draw. And that one is cleared, and so the power play guys are going to have to drop back. Directing that one to Connor. Into the end of attack. Shoots one. Nearly grazed the iron on that. That was a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. Great save. To Fowler. To the half wall. Lifts it. Look, he's got it there. He wants to clear it out. Good clear that time, and so the power play unit will have to recoil. Puck is thrown to Fowler. Looking to Ehlers. Gets that one on a cross. They clear the zone, and so now they can get that line change. Bunted down. Let's it go. Great glove save. Halifax has seen its way through that penalty kill, and so full strength action is upon us. Jonas makes a smart play and holds for a faceoff. Man, the added pressure and pace of the playoffs haven't affected him one bit, have they, guys? Here he is in the top ten. Just under eight minutes played here in the second. The Paladins have built on their earlier two-goal lead. Their advantage is now three. Halifax charges up the wing. Slot shot. Stared him down and made the save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Just inside the line. He gets that pass ahead in stride. Setting it up. They start down low. To the half wall. Skate kick out of the scrum. Puck collected. Passes into unhindered terrain. And he is reefed. Morensky's skill is known throughout the league, but when he throws his body around, everybody takes notice. A whistle and a rest. Halifax can't ask much more than what they're getting from him. His point streak continues. The team is reaping the benefits of his hot stretch. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. Brings it in for an attack. A diving block of the shot. And a save. Slid back across from one point to the other. A point blast. Perfect save. And we have offside called here. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. A one timer broke it right up. Halifax has possession on the wing and neutral ice. A big one timer. That puck struck him in front. Pitching it to Line. Pass attempt to Ehlers. Just a good, effective close-off. He was looking to finish his check, and he lines up his man right up against the boards. On to Line. A slot wrister. Chip to Line. A shot. Can't get a shot on. Save there. To Little. Point-blank shot. Marvelous save. No time on that one. He's locked in now. Great save. They locked him. Pitching this one to Ben Goa. Takes it in from the neutral zone. And at an angle to Wierenski. He scores! Just before the period ends.
those are always tough ones to take when you give it up. But when you score, man, you feel good going into the locker room. You want to come out for the second or third period right away. The Paladins have built a tremendous lead and also built some wonderful confidence. What will they say in the second intermission? Probably not much. They've won the faceoff. Right play, right pass up the right wing, and it's on his stick. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. Open the savings account this month that Baybank can get access to team press conferences, practice, or locker room tours. It's absolutely free. So what are you waiting Winnipeg for? suffering in net. Your Probably their whole team play needs to be re-examined during this intermission, but the goaltenders had a rough night. Here's an example as we go to break. third period about to begin the rear view mirror will help us with the first two and so will Edson Halifax takes a pretty comfortable lead here doc to get ready for the third period it's been pretty easy to this point let's see how they play it with this comfortable lead moving into Ehlers a superb hit a great hockey play there score You want to score goals, you got to get to this area of the ice. Oh, he thought he had it. You can tell from the way he reacts. He thinks the puck's in his glove, but it's beating him cleanly. And they take that neutral zone face off. Is able to move on in. Has received it in the corner. Glides along the line. Fantastic shutdown. Using the point. He's got it. Wonderful stop. Winnipeg's players are cutting a wide circle around him these days. They don't want to throw his routine off. It's amazing how superstitious players can get. And when you have one that's on such a significant point scoring streak, nobody wants to upset the apple cart. Shoots. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. Into the attacking end. Not a hard hit, but effective. Look at this chance. Skill play by Fowler. Kicked out of the scrum. Oh, what a hit that one was. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing this check. That's why. Has it picked up. Outstanding job done at the blue line to hold the pressure off. A big collision there. In with it now. Wonderful chance was set up and the pass just goes wide. Stolen at center ice. Back to the point. Great stick there. In the slot. Score! I love watching guys score on the backhand. Edzo, this has got to be a great shot because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. Halifax's goal has staked them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Ahead on that left wing to Stanley. And angled to Everly. Ranks one. Block it away. Halifax swings on from center. Oh, 
broken up. Carries it up the wing. Eberle's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Halifax is guilty of a two-minute penalty for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Winnipeg's power play gets another chance to operate. Let's see what happens this time. Well, on this power play, they cannot be as high risk as they were earlier when they gave up that shorthanded goal. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone and get it on net far more frequently. And here's Ray. Lots of pressure, lots of traffic, lots of shots, and unfortunately, he hasn't stopped any of them. Well, he looks like he's got a blindfold on in this video here. Yeah, there are several there he'd want to have back, wouldn't he, Ray? A little over nine minutes to go in the period. Momentum has shifted in this game. Another goal, and the advantage is four. He scores! Winning strategy on the power play. He had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. Fowler's displayed some sweet hands. That's a soft dish right on the tape. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. The Jets have the puck at center ice. Shifley is tripped and a penalty should be coming. Halifax is given a two-minute minor for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. They've been successful before knocking the game here. Let's see if they can do it again. Move the puck, get the puck to the net. Shot on. The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. He got rid of it. From his own end on the power play, it's taken by Fowler. Carries it on in from center. Shoots one. A terrific scoring chance denied. Pass to the slot. Perfect tip by the stick. Puck sails over the glass, and we get the whistle. Jonas was able to make the stop here on the forehand deep. Sometimes your positioning is so good, it doesn't matter what the shooter does. A little over eight minutes remaining in the third. The Jets have to be hopeful. They have scored. They need three more to get this game back even. Cleared back out. This will force him to drop back a lot. Look out! Here he comes! He's going to have to get himself back to the bench after he collects his helmet. He took a big hit on that one. Shoots! Outstanding save with a glove! Pareko's skating ability allowed him to really put a lot of force in behind that big hit. Winnipeg's quick on the draw. Save! He just stopped one of the best. Nudged along by the skate. He's got him against the glass. Kicked out of that battle. The Paladins shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. The Jets continue to probe up the wing. Whoa, what a play! Cleared back out. Not much pressure there. Winnipeg's back to play in their own end as the clock ticks down on the power play. As soon as the goaltender reads the release of the shot, he drops to the butterfly and makes a really easy stop.
They took that draw and won it. Knocked off the puck. What a tremendous hit. Gains that offensive line. A shot. Wonderful stop. Now that's a solid save. Well, with all my years involved in a game, I would anticipate there's going to be a little bit of payback after that big open ice hit. Just a hair under seven minutes to go in the third. It's a three-goal advantage in a 5-2 game. Solid clean win. And he takes the heat off by clearing. Driving in from no man's land. Brings a shot. Score! What a power play these guys have. Fowler's body position was key to be able to snap this one home. Really don't know if he could do much more than that. He's in the right shape. He drops to the butterfly to cover the bottom half of the net. But this is perfect up over top of him. The Jets have gotten this game back to a two-goal deficit for them. There's still time here in the third. Let's see what happens next. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. By number four. Steps across that line. It is hard work here to get the puck free. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Snapping a pass to Ehlers. Nicely received at the point. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. A shot. Gets it with the blocker. Threatening an attack. The Jets got to score after this shift. To Shifley. Off the glove. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. A huge face-off win there. And thrown down to Connor. Good defensive read with that one. Halifax carrying it up the wing. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Passing one off now to Fowler. Skates it into the zone. They score! It's only a one-goal game now. The Jets have cut the lead in half, and they're only behind by one here, with still time left in this third period. And the faceoff's won. Inside the final minute of regulation, this should be a wild finish. Big hit, possession gone. After that hit there, Doc, we better tighten up our chin straps. Halifax charges up from the wing. Fires. Terrific grab with the glove. Huge hit. Shuts that offense right off. A big collision in the middle of the ice. The Jets empty their net. He's at the bench. Score! <laughs> should put the icing on the cake. Everybody can exhale a little bit now. Once the empty netter goes in, that pretty well wraps it up. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Shot! That was a... He only got the outside of the post. Shoots! Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. The fans are standing and cheering. They know it takes 16 wins to get the Stanley Cup, and their team now has eight. They haven't reached the ultimate yet, but this is an enormous step. They have clinched this series. Fans at home, Doc, will be celebrating tonight as their team wraps this series up.
tournaments are fun, especially when they get to loser goes home, winner moves on. We are at that point. Don't miss our next one. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying so long for now.
Greetings, everyone, along with Stanley Cup winner from 1994, Eddie Olchek. I'm Mike Emery. That hallowed trophy will probably be in the building before the evening is over. What are these two teams going to bring us? Let's just see. With Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emery, this playoff game has begun. They score! Always better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. And in the very first minute, it's 1-0. That's the way you start a hockey game, and you love it as the visiting team. Moncton's got another face-off win. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. Strong slippery move. Off the crossbar. Off that face-off from the tie-up, the help came. Puck is thrown to Dickinson. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. Moncton's carrying it up the wing. Let's a shot fly. Save there. And freezes play for the whistle. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. Over three minutes play. It's a 1-0 game. Manitoba's prevailed on another faceoff. Leads that charge into the zone. Handled in the corner by Clifford. And the pickup. Look out! Here it comes! Doc, no surprise there. We expected a physical game, and we're going to get one. That early hit is just an example of what we're going to see. Manitoba is lugging it in the neutral zone. Pitching this one to Dickinson. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Puckcraft, what's next? Rubbed out along the boards. Everyone heard that hit. Nicely received at the point. Puck heads to the neutral zone. The attackers, of course, follow. Trying to relieve some of the pressure. Headed right down the middle under the scoreboard. Nice work by White. Moncton's continuing on up the wing. A shot. Stop!
The key to this goal is the quickness of his release. It gives him the advantage on this play, and the puck gets past the goaltender in a hurry. Parsons is the type of goaltender that relies on his positioning. Eddie, I think he's in good shape here. However, this shot is just perfect inside the post. And they've won the faceoff. That puck sailed out of play and went into the third row. And a fan from Salmon Arm, British Columbia, has a souvenir. Neutralized face-off win. He gets it back. Oh, snaps the shot. Got the save there. They won that draw. A slot wrister. Just couldn't make it. Moncton's looking to head man up the wing. Enormous hit. He's crushed. What a great hit. In the open ice, you're really sending a jolt if you catch somebody like that. Moncton's very fortunate to have one of the top goal scorers in the league. He's a dangerous player. He doesn't need many chances. And despite being targeted game in and game out, he sits right at the top of the league. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. Manitoba's winging it at neutral ice. A howitzer. Score! And it's a one-goal game. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. Manitoba has done well to get back to within one here, and lots of playing time ahead. It's late in the first. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Scored by number 88. Feeds the point. He cut that one off in the defensive end. What a tremendous hit. Manitoba skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Continuing to move behind the net. Fires. Offensive possession here. Let's it go. Oh, a save there. You're not going to beat a goaltender of this caliber with that shot. That's a pretty easy blocker stop. Just under five minutes still to be skated. So some success here. And they've cut the lead to just one. And he sends it to the net. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Made that stop. Manitoba's been humming along offensively. Well, it's no wonder. Their player's been on such a significant point streak. Every game, it seems, he finds a way to create offense, whether he finishes the play himself or sets somebody else up. The Whalers have it at center ice. Watch out! A big hit! Oh, that is a great hit. I love that hit. In the open ice, you really send a message with one of those. Oh, and he missed the net! That's a great scoring chance, but he just missed. He'll be looking to get the next one. From the faceoff, and they lock up, and a good reach. That's help from the wing. Brings it in for an attack. Using the point. He's got it. Takes a shot. Save!
good setup off the win. In the fourth period. Right to the point. Quick shot. Perfect tip by the stick. Manitoba is setting up an offense from the wing. Shoots one. Great glove grab. A player wants to get as close to the shot as he can so the shooter doesn't have any time to get rid of it. Standing up gets you there quicker. It's an excellent block. Present your ticket stuff from tonight's game and receive up to 10% off of your meal at Funsville Burgers Family Restaurants. The Whalers are holding on to a lead, and it's saves like this one that have kept them there. We'll be right back. Wonder what we're going to get here as the second period is underway. Let's just see here. Let's just see. Score! Boy, that player really drifted that shot. That left the goaltender behind in the dust. Oh, he had enough time to walk into this, and he absolutely pounds this. Goalie doesn't have a chance. The Whalers have now built a lead of two. Perhaps they can build on it even more before the end of the second period. Terrific face-off win, and that's one of many. A rocket! Outstanding save. And by number 36, the goal, 28 seconds. Let's it go! Snapped out of the air. Good face-off win. Receives that pass from the other side. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Pitching it to Bull. Manitoba is finding its way to center ice. Trying to go to Bull. A big, big hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Nicely into the zone. Deflected off the blocker. Goes back deep for it. Shoots one. A textbook stick save. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. Amazing reflexes. Manitoba's in the neutral zone along the way. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Gathered up again by Nabokov. Gotten quickly back. The Whalers control the play through the neutral zone. Perfect pass! Save! He got all of it! And so did he! Has it back deep. Moncton's up the wing, setting things up. Oh, broke it up. Shot. Score! And that one sent the water bottle flying.
He is right there in the low slot and doesn't waste any time snapping that home. This save usually is a little easier than the glove side as you're able to use your shoulder and shrug it away. He just couldn't get there. Moncton's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Fires! Good... Something tougher than that to score. Moving it to bowling. That one comes right on his stick. Not very long, but good. Into the corner by bowling. Using the point. Goal. Oh, he'll pay for that. Tremendous hit. You better have your... They score! They only trail by a pass. Manitoba is trying to crawl out of the hole they dug for themselves. They're back to within two here. Lots of time to go. We're in the second period. Manitoba goal. Laid on to Bowman. Linesman signals an offside. And by number 30. Never satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. A little over seven minutes to go. With the scoring of that goal, they're back to within one. So maybe they can tie this thing up. Can start the attack going in the zone. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. From the slaughter wrister. Got a piece of that one. Score! The goalie's in perfect position here, just not perfect enough. This is a really accurate shot. The Whalers have gotten another goal on a huge night for them. We have seen this a lot. They're rolling. Goal. Goal by number the puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. A collision! These games are tough to play. You've got to have your head on the swivel because wherever the traffic's coming from, it's going to arrive in ill humor. Got in front of another one. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. It's dumped in. Got it in his own end. The Whalers skated up on the side. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Pushing it on in the defensive zone. Manitoba is along the wing at center ice. Puck out of the zone, and the attackers regroup. Players tired, about to get a rest, but still seconds to play in this period. Oh, that was close. He was hoping for a little bit more with that chance, but a shot is just off the target. Manitoba is hoarding the puck at mid-ice. Good job defensively done there. That takes some pressure off with that defensive play. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Moncton's performance has been stellar coming into the third. I would expect more of the same rather than trying to protect the lead against a desperate hockey team. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. 
Manitoba has got two on this one for tripping. Moncton special teams practice is focused on the power play. Let's see if it pays off. Solid face-off win. Just missed high. He cleared that puck out of there. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Let's it go. Great save. Two players came to the boards. Boom. He was looking to finish his check, and he lines up his man right up against the boards. Manitoba's got two up on the penalty board for delay of game. Shoots. Oh, and he misses. I know that shot just missed the net, but that thing was moving. Drives it. Shoots it. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Nice face-off win. Shoots one. At least he protected his goaltender. At the point of drive. And a save. Dishes it back. Pass across at the point. Not going to shoot. Gets it with the blocker. He's got it there. He wants to clear it out. Great job by the defenders to kill more time. The Whalers have it along the side at mid ice That puck was obstructed by a screen. And that one sent back out to center. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Good move. Manitoba's in their own end and carrying it on. Back in his defensive end to get it. Such a good stick. That could have been held by a Canadian of the 70s. Into the end of attack. Has that pass off the boards. Score! A power play goal. You always want your power play to make a mark. Whether they score or not, they have to gain some momentum for your team. Here, they punch through with a power play goal. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. Well, you can't pull the whole team, so you might as well pull the goal. Deserves a break here. He's getting pummeled in the net as there is just no resistance against their opponent. And the faceoffs won. With a shot. The Whalers with possession in the defensive zone. Gains that offensive line. Big time deep there. Strong wrist shot. Great save. Play stopped. That puck is just held. The rookie's had a terrific game. He's had the puck on his stick numerous times. He's cashed a couple. You know he'd like to bang in one more for a hat trick. Good clean win on the draw. To the point it comes. Right near the line. Fires a shot. Oh, what a great chance, but it's off the iron. I hated when this would happen. Even though the game settled, I wanted that puck to hit the post and go in, so my number changes. The Whalers' power play is over. It was long, and they did get one. Under three minutes off the clock in the third. You can see momentum. game it has shifted and it is expanding even more the advantage is four goals that hit somebody couldn't do what he wanted the stick can break up a play and it just did they won that draw let's it go he hit the goal post off a of body 
poke check. Saved one there. Oh, what a stop. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. Covered up just to slow things down. Nice face-off work. Passing one off now to Dickinson. Dickinson's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Gains the blue line. Good place to shoot from. He scores! Three straight goals. And they take that neutral zone face off. And he steps across the line. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Five minutes, 51 seconds. Picks it up in his own end. Oh, and he has closed off emphatically. He delivered that hit with intent, Doc. Solid, solid hit into the boards. You can actually hear it. Oh, and he robbed him. Gets a blocker on it. Need to get rid of it. Pass attempt to Bozeman. Now it's directed to Ellie. A big hit in open ice. Another reason to like this game tonight. Snapping a pass to Nabokov. He gains the zone. A terrific shot block. Manitoba's bench looks absolutely shell-shocked. This game got away from them. They now don't have a chance, and they have to wonder where it all went wrong. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Snags the puck. Moncton's just caused another turnover. That's a big reason, Doc, they have a huge lead in this game. Shakes right through. Oh, what a hit that one was. Oh, he's bent over, pushing himself slowly to the bench after that huge hit he received. Collected by Bull. On to Boma. Gathered up again by Bowling. Shot on goal. That was a great play in goal. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. He loads it up. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Big drive. Save. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Manitoba's been blocking shots over the last few games at a crazy rate. Their players lie down to block shots. They get into the shooting lanes to block them standing up. This is something they work on pretty consistently at practice. A shot. Boom. They came together that time, didn't they? He finishes his check here and drives his man right into the boards. That's how you break up a play. Took that pass perfectly off the wing. A long pass ahead, and it's right on the money. He's got a chance. And they've got it again. The Whalers with possession in center ice. Puts one on. Handled with the stick. And we have offside called here. Man, the added pressure and pace of the playoffs haven't affected him one bit, have they, guys? Here he is in the top ten. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Looking to Dickinson. Big collision in open ice. And it's all terrific save. The Whalers are at the wing in neutral ice. Rister, wonderful save. Good shooting place. He scores. Four in a row. This snapshot surprises everybody with that quick release, and he's got himself a good goal. Kang's a goaltender that can be beaten up over the shoulders. He closes down the bottom of the net, Edzo, but this time they beat him up over his shoulders right near the elbow. A 
They've got the draw. By number 41. Directing that one to by Dickinson. Shoots one. Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. Let's it go. Got his pad on that one. The Whalers wheel one ahead up the wing. Puck is thrown to Ellie. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. That's a solid hit. Nowhere to lean against the boards there. One of the most exciting phrases in hockey. Game seven. And they've earned it. Doc, it doesn't get any more intense than this. No one wants to go home and both teams find themselves even in the series. Game seven will be the one to separate them.
the last game of the Stanley Cup final. Up. These two teams are ready to play, and we're ready to watch. Along with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emmerich, and this playoff game is underway. Oh, what a chance, what a save. Moncton skating it back in their own zone. Pass up that right wing, and he's got it. Quickly off the stick. Cut that right away. Hey, Ray, you've got a closer look than we do. What are you seeing that we're not? Incredibly, after this long road of the playoff stock, nobody looks tired. There is so much excitement here on both benches. Many thanks, Ray. Took it up the boards and holds. Outstanding body contact. Oh, you gotta love that early hit. Score! And so the celebrating comes early for the first goal. They'll certainly have more energy. They've got the game's first score. And now they can play from in front. Moncton's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Scored by number 36. Taken over again. Snapping a pass to White. Steps across that line. What a terrific save. Passing one off now to Ellie. Right into the slot. Oh, what a terrific save in close. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. He hangs on and gets the whistle. Good, clean win on the draw. Drill. Oh, and a great chance, but it's off the iron. Back on his stick. Lifts the stick and robs him. To Veselina. Driving in from no man's land. Veselina's tripped up. That should be a penalty. At least he protected his goaltender. The Whalers have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. Manitoba's special teams practice is focused on the power play. Let's see if it pays off. Clean win on the draw. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Looking to Dickinson. Wow, what force in that one. Great play along the boards. Tries to wear down his man by throwing the body. Gathered up again by Nabokov. Right off the left wing, it comes on through right on his stick. In the slot! Oh, Pocek saved one there. From back in his own end on this power play, it's taken by Bull. Oh, what a hit there. Good defensive read with that one. That's a goaltender's best friend, a defenseman that can use a stick like that. Just like shootout. He scores! Terrific power play goal. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Can start the attack going in the zone. From the outside. That puck is out of play in the stands. Period is 20 minutes. We're just past 10. Only a pair of goals so far equally divided. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Save. A little pass from his goalie here. The Whalers are skating it up at neutral ice. 
shot. Big point blank save there. Great opportunity. Better stop. Zone to zone to Dickinson. A tremendous shot block. And it's a good pickup. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Let's it go. Outstanding save. Just got his glove on it. Gives it over to the point. Let's a shot fly. Oh, what a save. Back to the point. Pass across at the point. Oh, my, what a save. Covered up just to slow things down. The team has always leaned on him as one of their offensive producers. In the playoffs, you have to look to your best players to be your best. And here he is in the top ten. Nice face-off work. Trying to clear the zone. Propelled to Beaulieu. Pitching it to Veselainen. Puck is thrown to Bull. On to Veselainen. A whistle. Offside is called. And that's a face-off win. Is able to move on in. Fires! Score! What a quick answer that was! Always dangerous once you break a tie that you would sit back and try to protect the lead. I think you have to stay aggressive and play in the other end. A little under four minutes to go in the period. So this game has gone from being dead even to a leader. Games the zone. And by number 67. Chip the bogey. Oh, what a hit that one was. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his check. Passed it ahead where there is some space. Turn the shot on net. They score! And they've tied the game up. Oh, that was a critical goal. Now the game is tied. And we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. Nearing the last minute of play in the first. By number 88, assisted by number 82, Nathan Bullion. And by number 16, Christian Fisher. Lifts one. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Let's it go. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. The Whalers talk about their mantra of blocking shots. Well, over the last few games, it's remarkable how many they've got in front of. 2-2 Two -two at the end of one. So both of these teams were able to strike twice. We'll see if that builds some confidence or whether the goaltenders rally when we get into the second period of play. Period two has begun. Both teams with the same number of goals. Outstanding save made off a terrific chance. Cranks the blast. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Trying to go to Clifford. Good intercept by White. Brings it in for an attack. Doesn't get the shot off. Twist one. Outstanding glove save. That's a solid face-off win. Back and forth they go between the points. And a save. That puck is held and the whistle stops play. Over three minutes have elapsed here in the second. We are at two goals apiece. 
Good job on the draw. Boilos looking to make a play from his own end toward center. Directing that one to Ellie. That was one he'll get the number on. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Right into the slot. been a number of close chances here at either end as this continued tie game strung out. Now they've got the lead. We'll see where it takes us now. The Whalers have taken the lead by one. What fork in the road are we headed for with this faceoff? And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Moncton's in control as they travel up the wing. Buck out of the zone, and so they'll regroup. And the pickup. The Whalers skated up on the side. Gets that one on a cross. Blocked. Right to the point. Point hammer shot. Great save. Boy, he really had to battle through to see that screenshot. A collision. Not going to be enough ice bags around here, Doc, for that. That is a crushing hit. Smart recovery by Bull. Got it in his own end. Huge hit. Shuts that offense right off. Just great positional play. Moving it to Bull. Pitching this one to Ellie. Great job on a cut pass. The Whalers have forced another turnover, Doc. They've done a real nice job in that category in this close game. Takes a shot. Just got enough. A point hammer shot. Waffle boarded. Taking attack here. Tremendous hit. Hammers one. Just missed. Get the calculator out. You miss 100% of the shots that miss the net. Sends it across the blue line. Back to the point. Sends it across the blue line. Manitoba is continuing on in the defensive zone. Makes that play deep. Cuts that pass off. Took that away in his own zone. In with it now. Shoots it off. Saved there. Boom, they came together that time, didn't they?
Manitobas in their own end and controlling the play. Oh, he'll pay for that, and for sure the task is taken here. Oh, that was not a good hit at all. Now somebody's coming to the aid of the fallen teammate. This fight on that punch has ended. That's got to hurt. What a way to leave your mark. Solid win of the draw. What a ripper! Gathered up again by Bull. Leads that charge into the zone. And you thought open ice hitting was gone. If you're looking for this type of open ice hit, you better have a good angle. And that's exactly what happened. This is a big time major collision. Feeds the point. Got his glove on that one. Did not hold. A long scorcher. And the puck exits the zone, breaking up the play. And the period comes to a close. Wow, what a finish. Hey fans, great tickets are still available to our next home game. Please visit the box office and get them while they last. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? Manitoba's had very little time of possession, Doc. They've been outplayed in that category big time, but they're still in this game. One shot, and they're right in it. It is the third period. Final period of regulation time. We have started. Steps in from the neutral zone. Good place to... He scores! Two straight goals. Oh, what a quick release on that snapper. Parsons drops to the butterfly. It's almost Edzo like he believes he's got the whole net covered because he doesn't move. They've got the draw. Scored by Laid on to Bolu. Huge hit in open ice. Intercepted that one in an important place. Slid back across from one point to the other. A wonderful scoring chance denied. Wow, what a hit. What a mean-spirited hit. He'll be taken to task for that one. And sure enough, here they go. Oh, that was not a good hit at all. Now somebody's coming to the aid of the fallen teammate. That was going back into old times for those two major penalties. Uh, this is old-time hockey. The game's chippy. It seems like the puck is only there so people can follow where the next fight might be. Moncton's got a little bit of swagger going now. Their man's won the fight. The crowd is ecstatic. Just over three minutes have transpired in the third. At this point, some good offense, some strong defense. Six goals, it's 4-2. Flings it. Great save. Close in shot. That was a great play and goal. The goaltender shuts that one down in a superb opportunity. Gains the zone. And he's tripped and there'll be a penalty. Manitoba is only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. Moncton's power play gets its first chance in this game tonight. You could turn the tide of a game on a power play whether you score or not by getting shots, by getting traffic, and by keeping the puck in the offensive zone. If you chase it up and down the ice all the time, Nothing gets accomplished. Moncton's on the move, hoping to wheel it up the wing. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. I once had a coach tell me, hit or be hit. There's an example of getting yourself into the game. The Whalers with a neutral zone possession along the wing. Breaks away. Score!
with the goal scorer right in front. It was tough for the goaltender to pick up the shot off the backhand. They all count on the board for the same, but he gave everything he had on this. Just couldn't quite get there. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Oh, he'll pay for that. And there's a face wash after the whistle. Those gloves aren't going to be on much longer. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Shoots one. Just missed the net. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses and the puck rings around the boards. Not through. Can he clear? Try to clear the puck. It remains in the zone. Setting it up. Heading down low. Big shot from the point. And a save. Guys, this is something Edzo and I never did too much of. But when the fight was won, the emotion down on the ice here changed from one bench to the other. A little under eight minutes have transpired. The scoring of the goal has made this now a three-goal lead. Will this become dangerous, though? Puck loose now picked up. Grabs that pass. Munkin's in complete control of this game because of their ability to force turnovers. Somebody straight across. Puck has to be first. Offside. And they've won the faceoff. With a shot. That one hit him in the mask. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. Solid face-off win. With a blast! That puck hit him on the way to the net. Sends to the point. Takes that pass from the other point. Wonderful chance was set up and the pass just goes wide. Kicked away. That diffuses the attack for now. That shift was looking really dangerous with all that pressure. The goalie finally got possession. He freezes the puck to slow things down. Defensive zone win. Slid to Dickinson. Crosses that line. A big collision in the middle of the ice. Most of the time, the hits that you can lay are along the boards where you can angle somebody out of the play. Every once in a while, you get to deliver an open ice goal. Oh, and he robbed it. Manitoba's been a step slow throughout this contest. Their goaltender has saved them so many times. The fact that they're within a stone's throw in this game's kind of a miracle. Chipped off the boards and ahead. I like that play. He had a little bit more of a risky option, but he went off the boards and bounced it safely to his partner. He one. Brings it off the post. I hated when this would happen. Even though the game settled, I wanted that puck to hit the post and go in, so my number changes. He freezes it in the pads for a halt to play. White's a dangerous player in the regular season. He's a dangerous player in the playoffs when it's far more difficult to score. He never stops working it, so if he's away from the net, somehow he pulls his way to the front for a rebound if it's available. Shoots. Back on his stick. Oh, and he is drilled. It's been a bumpy road for them all night long, but this is a big hit designed to maybe turn things around a little bit on a team that's had a bad night. Nicely into the zone. Toward the net. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. Open ice hitting is not dead. That is up close and personal. On the outside, a shot. Stood up all the way and blocked it. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Centers it. Save! He got all of it. And so did he. Down to the last 50. Skates it into the zone. Crashed into him in open ice. Decides he wants the corner. Right next to the line. 
cranks a shot. Great save. 26 to go. They've got it going right now. Can they finish? Got to hurry. 20 to go. Pass attempt to Ellie. Wonderful block. And so they've got this puck on a delayed penalty. Not much in doubt about the outcome, but there will be another penalty handed out. Clearly an interference call not allowing the player to get involved into the play. White's annoyed. Might be something here. He's had this look in his eyes all night long. And, and so, punches are being thrown here late in the contest. 45 seconds. That was going back into old times for those two major penalties. You almost forget that they're going to keep track of the game by score here. The players seem to want to settle a score on every whistle. This fight's mercifully ended for... All right, now there's some misbehavior. I don't know if we're going to have to fill the penalty sheet here. Well, I hope so, Doc, because this game needs this jolt. Fights don't just happen, and it looks like this has been brewing all game long, but here they go. 46 seconds. The decision of the referee is final. It was worth five each for fighting. This is the game from yesteryear. Strap your helmets on, get your sweaters buttoned down. There's... Wow, and somebody's crossed the line here. I think he knows what might happen. Well, when you cross the line like that, you better be ready to get involved. The gloves are off, and it seems like this has been brewing all game long. Here. The decision of the referee is final. It was worth five each for fighting. This is old-time hockey. Every whistle invites a scrum. Guys seem to be more involved punching each other in the nose than they are trying to score a goal. Solid, clean win. Gathered up by Holt. Right in front. Oh, what a stop. Terrific stop from right in front of the net. Got him. And the game is over. The series is over. These are the champions. What a thrill to win a championship. But on the other side, the disappointment does sink in. Working so hard only to miss out on this celebration.
Long Island, New York, an island even larger than the state of Rhode Island, is the home to the Islanders and their fans. Hi, everyone. With Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich. The Stanley Cup Final continues on, and it might end tonight. These home fans hope it does not because their team faces elimination. What can you tell them about this game? Well, they're important. They're important to the home team. They're important with their energy and their belief. And as a player, you're always looking for that little bit of extra from your crowd, Doc. And uh, you're right. They want this season to continue. New York's facing the greatest challenge they've had all season long, facing elimination. But they can learn from the previous challenges that they've had throughout this season. That's what history's for, learning from it. See if they apply it here tonight. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. The pressure of the playoffs got to him last time. His teammates got blown out, but the coaches are looking to rebuild that confidence with this start tonight. The pressure is immense on everyone, especially on the guys with the extra gear. Win this, it's a title, and the name your parents gave you is in the history books. And the opening face-off is here. The final series, the best time of year. The Stanley Cup final game is underway. Mike Emmerich here, Eddie Olchek next to me, and eyesight is Ray Ferraro. Tremendous hit. This is not going to be a game for quiet players. You're going to need to be physical. That early hit sets the tone here for both teams. Steps across that line. Has it picked up from that cluster of players kicked out. Slid to Tavares. Let's it go. Got it all. Block stop so Ray can start. It's really loud down here, Doc. The crowd is trying to fire their team up, but the road team knows they can win and silence this building in 60 minutes. Okay, Ray, thank you. Good job on the draw. The Paladins carrying on in their own end. A shot. Got that in the trapper. The Paladins with a face-off win. He moves that one ahead through center. Open ice hitting is back. After that hit there, Doc, we better tighten up our chin straps. Brings a shot. That's terrific goaltending. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Back to the point. A shot. Score! Oh, the key, once you score one, try and get another. Push them back on their heels. They've got one. Go get two. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. Halifax has won that faceoff of the neutral zone. John Tavares, a second by number 12. Picks it up in his own end. 
Time to the goal. Five Ripped along to Barzell. Two seconds. Gliding behind, looking. That one is pointed to him. Gets that pass in the corner. A collision. Wierenski's ability around the league is eye-catching, but when he uses the body, everybody takes note. A one-timer handled with the stick. Ran into the defense. He's lost it. Gains the zone. He finished his shift right in the middle of the ice. Takes a shot. Save. Holds on and gets that whistle. Tavares is dangerous because he can shoot the puck, but he's also dangerous because everyone else around him becomes more of a threat because he attracts so much attention from the other team defensively. Among the highest goal scorers in the league for a reason. That holds true here in the playoffs. It's gotten behind the net. Nudged along by the skate. Shoots. Oh, and he robbed him. In that defensive zone, an important play. He takes that point pass. New York's got possession in the middle of the ice. Loft it in, and more players will come to the bench. Pass through center ice. Waits from the corner. Looks to make a play from the corner. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. A little under six minutes remaining here in the first period. New York's got the lead, 1-0. Solid win of the draw. A big hit in open ice. Another reason to like this game tonight. If you're looking for this type of open ice hit, you better have a good angle. And that's exactly what happened. This is a big-time major collision. Laid on to Ben Goa. In with it now. Let's it go. A textbook stick save. The Islanders are driving it from the wing. Has it back deep. To Bookvist. Thrown to the slot. Score! And the game is even. We came into the game, guys, thinking these teams were evenly matched. Now we've played some of this contest, and here we are back at a stalemate. They've won the faceoff. Points it. What a heavy hit. Around the 20th minute of this period. Steps in from the neutral zone. In the slot. He's got that pass at the point. Fires. Routine save. Little pass that can start some progress ahead. It's all. Score! Late in the period. Couldn't get much later for that one. Always dangerous once you break a tie that you would sit back and try to protect the lead. I think you have to stay aggressive and play in the other end. The Islanders have broken the tie. Perhaps they can build on this lead here in the first period. First period over, we began scoreless, and now we're not. New York's got a lead of one. 58 seconds.
the Islanders have a one goal lead. This is the one that did it for them as the teams are in the locker rooms and we're about to sell some. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edson? Halifax's team is still in this game, Doc. They're down by one goal, but easily could be a lot more. You hear the term now, puck management. They did not manage the puck at all in that first period. To the point it comes. As that point passes well. A shot. What a save. Score! A pair of goals by the same team. New York's goal gives them a lead by two. Raises a question, too, here in the second period. Do they start to play it a little conservative, or do they go at him and try and make this three right away? And he steps across the line. Save! The Islanders have dominated much of this game defensively. They've denied shots to the net. Their goaltender hasn't had much to do, but he's been sharp on the relatively few chances he's had. Nice face-off win. Fires. He had it past the goalie, but not past the iron. Off the crossbar and out of play. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Taken over again. Halifax has possession in the middle. That one comes off the ice, but just perfect. Missed the net. Just going to shake his head. Yeah, he rocketed that shot wide, but it missed by 15 feet. Moving it to Oda. Can start the attack going in the zone. He scores! Bar down, in. Oh, what a quick release on that snapper. The defenseman obviously doesn't hear his bench yelling, Eddie, they're right beside me. I can hear them yelling for him to get back to the front of the net. He's too slow to do so. Halifax is just one shot away from getting this game tied up. A good goal for them there. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. From the outside. And a save. Using the point. Oh, what a hit that one was. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. And the whistle. And the trainer. Hopefully not a gurney on this one. The Islanders control in center ice. Crashed into him in open ice. Anytime you get hit in the open ice like that, that is a jolt. And they are in. Alone. He shuts it right down. Takes that pass from the other point man. Save. Score. And this one is tied. Oh, that was a critical goal. Now the game is tied. And we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. Whatever the game plan was in both dressing rooms, it might have been to press offensively, but I'm pretty certain it wasn't to abandon defense. We've had a boatload of goals already. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Outmaneuvers his man in the zone. Whistle is blown, and a man with guilt all over his face is going to the box. The Islanders get two minutes up on the penalty clock for interference. Hammers one. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. Guaranteed the goalie never saw it, but I know he heard it. That's how hard it was. Great stick save. Tries to clear. Right on his stick. Can he get it out? 
And the penalty killers come up big again. It's clear. Halifax has possession on the wing and neutralize. Hatchets one. Score! The Paladins are ahead by one. They've been wheeling that puck to the net a lot. They've won the faceoff. Four on the power play by number four, Ben Goa. Nicely into the zone. Time of the goal. Nine Got it in his own end. Wonderful block. Such a good stick. That could have been held by a Canadian of the 70s. And he steps in. Whipped on the shot. Propelled to Galchenyuk. Gives it on a cross from the point. Superb stand-up block. Goes for it. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance. Galchenyuk's body position was key to be able to snap this one home. Enzo, this has got to be a great shot because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. A little over seven minutes on the clock in the second. The Paladins, with the scoring of that goal, now lead by two. Let's it go. Glanced it off the crossbar. New York's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Outstanding body contact. One way to wear down your opponent, play physical. That's exactly what happened there. Great shooting lane. Big point blank save there. The goaltender shuts that one down and a superb opportunity. What a tremendous hit. In the slot. Great save at the edge of the crease. Brings it in for an attack. Slides it to the point. Look out, the hits are coming. And he puts the glove on it and stops play. Well, oh, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Clean win on the draw. Good keep at the line. More attack coming. Two on one. And in all alone. What a save made all alone. Paladins continue to probe up the wing. Goes to the backhand. Great save. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. That was a tougher stop than a look. They took that draw and won it. Nice stand-up poke check there. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Two periods are in the books. We've had a lot of scoring in this, but there is one dominant team. No lack of production in this game. The difference is two. Opening face-off of the third period. Big time move. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. I saw that one coming from a mile away. Halifax is skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Fires! And he missed it. If that puck hits the net, I think it goes through it. They've got it again. Driving in from no man's land. New York's in their own end and in control of the puck. Not a hard hit, but effective. It's lost. Near the boards. 
One on one. Score! Oh, he looked confident on that breakaway right before he scored. I assume the goalie feels a little better about giving up a goal like this where he's done everything that he can as opposed to one that waffles through his legs from 50 feet. Halifax's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good job by the wing. On to Coach Kinyemi. Directed on. Wonderful save on the redirect. The team has always leaned on him as one of their offensive producers. In the playoffs, you have to look to your best players to be your best. And here he is in the top ten. Just under six minutes skated here in the third. They've scored again. Depending on which book you read, three may be the most dangerous hockey lead. We'll find out. Save there. New York's controlling play now in the defensive zone. Takes a perfect pass. Well, that's what your wings are for. They give it to you right in the center. Pitching this one to Coach Kanyemi. Able to hold on behind the cage. Solid rub out. No out of bounds in this sport. Everyone heard that hit. Bouchard's clearly in some anguish here. He's working his way back to the bench, but he's hurt. Let's it rip. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Blocked away. Fires it to the point. Oh, and blocked away. Looks to make a play. Sends it down low. This outstanding offensive shift. I'm sure the next line coming up will want to do the same thing. Back at the point now. Tosses it. The shot blocked. Collected now. Look out. a pass to Johns. Now it's directed to Barzell. Let's it go. That shot came from nowhere. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. Wonderful stop. Oh, that's more than your normal rub out. Well, there's been no shortage of goals here tonight as this one winds down. We've seen some pretty terrific goals and some that haven't been so great as well. But there has been a big number on the board, it seems. That one counts. He put it in himself. What an embarrassing play. I don't know what he's thinking. What on this green earth is he thinking? He shot the puck in his own net. Go have a seat. His team is ahead in this game, and he's doing a wonderful job in the face-off circle springing. Two guys together with force. Big force. He lifts the stick and picks his pocket. Trying to go to Roussel. Skates it into the zone. Shoots one. Wow, what a glove save. Paladins have gotten to center ice. Big time deep there. Using the point, he's got it. Drives it. Wonderful save. Shoots one, and a save. Back to the blue line. Need to get rid of it. Final minute of the third. One happy locker room, and one that will have much soul searching. Scorches one. Terrific shot, but a denial. There's a hooking call on this play, but he keeps going. Takes that pass up the boards. Big drive. Oh, what a save that was. And on top of that, another great stop. I thought the second was the toughest. The game is.
is lopsided, but we did need to enter one more thing on the penalty sheet. It might be something coming up here. He has been looking for this for a while. That faceoff is one, and so five minutes at least for these guys. They're going to earn them right here. This fight on that punch has ended. That's got to hurt. What a way to leave your mark. The face off, the tie up, and a solid job from the winger there. Pass attempt to book this. And at least one more icing has been called in the game. Solid clean win. Halifax wheels it up the wing. He gets through. Rister from the slot. Score! The hat trick. It's not really loud in here, but they don't expect that. A snapshot is in between a slap shot and a wrist shot, and that is textbook snapshot hockey. He finds the back of the net. That's a shot that the goaltender should do a better job of. He's left too much room up on the stick side, beating right in the top of the net. And the faceoff's won. Crosses that line. Good use of the stick, broke that pass up. Just wide. The horn, the game, and the championship. They've been injured, they've been banged up, they've been beaten down, yet they have always been able to dig deep and find a character that only Stanley Cup champions have. I'm not really sure where this tradition originated, but it's one that separates our sport, I believe, from a lot of the others. The players come together, congratulate each other on a hard-fought series, but it doesn't mean that you actually like the guy that you're shaking hands with. 